The service department is one of the key areas on the unit and plenty of time should be allowed for inseminating so that it is not rushed. The most precious commodity is the AI which should be stored at the correct temperature of 17 degrees until the point of service. Place insemination equipment in a safe area within easy reach of the inseminators. Always use individually wrapped catheters for improved hygiene. Move the sow quietly to the AI area. It's important that she has no accidental ball contact on the way because we don't want to stimulate her into a standing reflex until she's entered the AI area. We now have to decide whether she's in oestrus. Don't just dive in and apply back pressure. Mimic the ball's courtship behaviour like the AI technician. It is important that she has good nose-to-nose -nose contact with an active chatty ball at this point. This pre-AI stimulation is encouraging the sow to release oxytocin and will help with the transport of the sperm to the oviduct. You can also see why familiarising the gilts to human contact is so important. After a reasonable period of stimulation, about a minute say, apply full back pressure and even sit on the sow. She should readily arch her back and take your weight. Her ears will be raised and sows with upright ears will have them pricked upright. She will remain quite still and may even tremble. Clean the vulva with dry paper toweling or use special non-spermicidal wipes, being careful not to push dirt into the vulva. Ensure hands are clean before handling AI equipment. Don't touch any part of the catheter before it has been inserted. Open the vulva outwards so that the head of the catheter has a clean entry. With a sponge plug catheter, gently push it in at a slightly inclined angle until you feel resistance. Check the catheter is locked in the cervix by gently pulling the catheter back and feeling it snag. Again, ensuring your hands are clean, remove the top of the AI dose and attach to the stem of the catheter. You can continue with back pressure and rub her flank and underline. Allow the AI to be drawn in by the sow don't be tempted to squeeze the AI dose and force the AI in. The catheter is left in the cell for a couple of minutes so that it's easier to remove once the cervix has relaxed and so reduces the likelihood of back leakage. Leave her to rest for ideally a period of 30 minutes before she's returned to her pen and remixed in with the group.